we have a question from Ben. Why have my Inluva gloves shrank? <laughs> All right, yeah, aye. Yes, that whole issue. I love them, but they're made from 100% sheep's wool. Yeah. Sheep's wool? Yeah, I think it's sheep. Yeah. What? 100%, I well, don't know. What other animals make wool? <laughs> I don't know. Alpaca? <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it's 100% wool, sheep's wool. Yeah. Um, so because it's 100% wool, the issue with wool is if it gets wet, it will cause problems with shrinking. Right, so immediately my brain's going, why is an underwater product made from something that's going to get shrink when it gets wet? Well, it's not an underwater product because it's a dry globe liner. Yeah, so but it's... Dry, is it? Aye. But how many times have, have your dry gloves leaked? Uh, it's been a while. It has but been it a can while. happen. Yeah, it's one of the things that can happen, especially if you just change the system or you change the rings and stuff. So I'll probably say, if you're testing your gloves out, don't wear them. <laughs> 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 Make sure they're dry first. Right. Um, they're not meant to. So I have spoken with manufacturers and they basically said, look, it is wool. There is this issue of wool, but the way we've designed it, everything, the shrinkage should be minimal. Right. But you can follow, like, wool guidelines. Wool, wool guidelines. <laughs> wool guidelines. <laughs> wool. Where, where'd you get oh, the wool guidelines yeah. from? Is <laughs> Google, there a website right? or Google a phone it, Google number? It, Google a phone it, number I can bring up. The, Google is it. Is it sheep on the other end of the line? <laughs> No, so like the wash care guidelines. Right. Because that's something we're going to put on the website. So I don't know if Woolite is a brand everywhere in the world, but it certainly is in the UK, so you can get Woolite. It's like a laundry care thing. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So basically, if you wash it in that, and then as you're drying it, you just keep reshaping it on your hand. Even after, so it's got wet um, on a dive, and so, then... So basically the goal, if it gets wet on a dive, you need to try and not let it dry. Yeah, keep it wet. <laughs> keep it wet. Depends on wet it got. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if it was a full flood, then it's going to be soaked. Yeah. Like, like it's unlikely that you're going to get a little leak that's going to make it shrink. If it's, I would have thought if it's going to shrink, it's a full flood. Like, it's got completely soaked. Yeah, it's Unless, more... like, your little pinky, so now you've got, like, a nah, really little shrunken pinky. It's probably pinky. more like a full flood, so, like, I've got mine here. <laughs> so this is... Yeah, that... This is what we're talking that about. That looks shrunk. Is that yeah. shrunk? Yeah. So this is one of my first ones, my first four in the scrubbing <laughs> wall. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. I can't move my fingers now. <laughs> I proper shrunk that and just ignored all guidelines. And yeah. Do you want to, like, should we give it to a toddler? <laughs> it would fit you. I don't know why I even oh, kept it, you? but I think, it, I think I kept it to fit you, but you I just don't wear dry gloves. Don't wear dry gloves. Oh, no, yeah, they'd be perfect for me. <laughs> See, so if it does shrink, you can always give it to your partner with smaller <laughs> hands. So it is one of them. So you potentially, if it was that badly shrunk, you can put the wool in and stretch it and reshape it. it to an extent. I tested this to the extreme and I've just ripped it. Uh, right. um, so there's only so much you can do. Yeah. Um, whereas this is my, now we're using ones, and these have shrunk, but they still fit. So you will get a little bit of shrinkage, but if you do take care of them and kind of treat them right. So how much are they? I don't know, something I can't even remember off the top of my head. They're, but they're not cheap though. No, they are. Like 30 quid, Oh, I thought, quid. Oh, okay, I thought they were more than that. So yeah. would you say, in your honest opinion, that these were, are worth it even though they might shrink? Like, do they perform so well that it's worth the risk? So with gloves, the biggest thing is dexterity. Mm -hmm. So any glove that is potentially warmer than this are uh, really bulky. Ah, right, okay. So if you look at like the Sandy gloves and the new Fourth Element Halo gloves, you've they're like sausage fingers. You've got massive sausage fingers. <laughs> sausage, <laughs> but they're really warm. So I think in terms of warmth compared to like dexterity in bulk, I don't think there's anything that comes close to these. Right. Um, and you can wear the like the little liner gloves underneath them yeah. as well as a double layer. So yes, there is that issue of the wool shrinkage, but I think the benefit you get from them far away is and quite comfortable for like normal land use as well. Because they do a sock version as well. Um, so these are the socks. So that is 100% wool, whereas this is only like, this is like a blend, so 60%. Right. So you can wear that underneath and that over the top. Uh, so that's why now the mine have, must have shrunk then? Yeah. Yeah. Quite possibly. Um, so this is a bit of an issue with this, because especially if you get changed on a wet boat and you stand in the puddle. Yeah. It's quite... And the, you're going to need to wash those. But I suppose you just wash them in the wool. Like. See, my principle, this might be a man <sighs> thing, is... You know, they'd be stinking. No, because the inner one gets stinking, so that one gets washed, like on a fabric hair, but that one doesn't really... And wool's actually... No, wool's one of them materials that... You just you just keep on persuading yourself that... It does, man. I'm sure it's one of them things. It's one of the things, a bit like silver lining and stuff. Like antibacterial. Yeah, antibacterial or something. 
You just kept convincing yourself that the reason to not wash your socks would be an absolute screw. But wool is a fantastic scrub. material for this because it's one of them fibres. If you, this is how like you look at sheep on a hot day, they're not getting hot. Because it's, it's one of them fibres. It takes away the sweat. It's really good for summer because it is very good at taking moisture away and cooling the body. Right. But then if the other way around, if it was cooled, it's very good at insulating the body. See, because I look at sheep in the winter and if it hasn't been shorn, I'd be like, you poor bastard, I feel sorry for you. But have you ever seen a sheep sweat? <laughs> So anyway, that's the lure range. Yes, the Asian issue with shrinkage. I think it's worth that benefit for value for money for how much warmth you get for dexterity. I think they are worth it. Right. Unless you were going to be doing like some proper extended range stuff and then you might want thicker gloves or heated gloves and stuff like that. Right. That's a different ball park. Or if you're just one of them people that just always breaks the dry gloves and always floods the gloves, then maybe they're not for you. <laughs>